We're still like in the, I'd say the young stages of the farm. Four years ago, we were in the basement. I don't consider that our first year of growing. Trillian Farm consists of me and my wife. We moved into this house, started working on it, and kind of got into like the homesteading, gardening, that kind of thing. And we decided that, you know, we wanted to see where we could go with it. And um, so I started growing microgreens in our basement, actually. A microgreen is just a, it's a really young plant. It's similar to sprouts, a vegetable grown in the soil for uh, one to three weeks, maybe four weeks, depending on the variety and time of year. I took a couple trays around town to see if people were interested in our product. And so a lot of people were interested and we were able to make a lot of sales. And so we just went with it. Microgreens are incredibly nutritious too. About an ounce of broccoli microgreens is roughly equivalent to about an entire head of broccoli in nutrition. So they, they pack a lot of nutrition in there. And so it doesn't take a lot to get a lot out of microgreens. It's really nice to see more people eat microgreens or healthy produce, you know, not just something that you buy off the shelf that was shipped here from, you know, across the country. For, for a lot of people, the Iowan diet is casseroles and not many people are eating fresh produce, especially in the winter. We can produce fresh produce in the winter when most people just kind of say, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna have chili and whatever, chicken fingers for the next month and a half. Well, we do have an option now, or the community does, of having fresh produce all winter long. One of our goals is to positively impact the community that way and give them something really good to eat. The reason why we put an emphasis on community is because we're part of the community. And we kind of think of it as if we can grow the community while well, we're growing ourselves at the same time. My wife recently started with a group of other people a farmer's market in Arnold's Park. It, this was the first weekend, Memorial Weekend. It was the opener, and we had over 2,000 people come. I saw so many people there with strollers and kids running around, which is what we wanted to see. We wanted to have a place that families could go to. It was great for building community. It's pretty easy to get a curveball thrown at you with microgreens. Uh, if you overwater, they can go bad. If you underwater, they go bad. If you put too many seeds in a tray, they can go bad. We lost a whole lot of our, our pea shoots. So if we get three days in a row without sunshine that wasn't on the forecast, it puts me behind three days. And all of a sudden, well, I, I'm behind three days. I can't make my sales for that week. There are days, weeks where we go, what did we get into, you know? Because things do inev inevitably get challenging. I think in any career, whatever you're doing, you're gonna have time when things are really difficult. I think it's pretty normal to say, things are getting really tough right now. Are we, are we on the correct path? Do we need to change what we're doing? And we do that, I wouldn't say constantly, but whenever it's needed. My wife, Chrissy, and then my three-year-old son, Cooper, and then we just had uh, our daughter, and she's six weeks old now. Uh, when, before we had our son, we wanted to find a way to be able to stay at home with him more, spend more time together as a family. Well, we both work a lot of long nights and days, but in the end, I'm still able to, you know, see them for breakfast and lunch and dinner, which not everybody can, so it's really, it's really been nice. Three, four years later, I mean, I think the most important thing for us is that we are a viable business and that we can continue to do this and take care of ourselves and our family. We don't have to worry about that so much anymore. That we can carry on and look to the future rather than just, you know, worry about tomorrow. Straw hat and old dirty hankies Mopping a face like a shoe Thanks for the meal, here's a song that is real From a kid from the city to you